Hello everybody, welcome to the two crunch stand. 65 of Reese's Stories and today I'm going to be reading you Adam Saves Christmas by award winning author Benji Bennett Ill and illustrations by Roxanne Burgess and I've been looking forward to reading you this book for so long. 2% of the recommended retail price for each book sold will benefit Make-A-Wish Foundation International. It's time to sleep, but before you go there is something I really want you to know. I love you much more than a Christmas Eve night when Santa makes Rudolph's red nose shine so bright. I love you much more than the elves' clever tricks used to make presents that every child picks. Adam sat down late on Christmas Eve night and wrote to ask Santa to bring him a kite, a bat and a ball for Harry and Robbie, and a princess's dress for his sweet sister Molly. With Christmas so close, Jack Frost nipped his nose at his nose, so he asked for some slippers to warm up his toes. Then Adam put on his red Christmas Eve sweater and thought about how to deliver his letter. I I have an idea, Adam thought to himself. I'll deliver my letter to Santa's chief elf. So he called out for Fluff, his magical cloud, by closing his eyes and saying out loud, Huff, Puff, I love you, Fluff. There's something that I need, a lift to Santa's North Pole. On your back with lightning speed, then Fluff arrived with big fluffy kisses and flew Adam to Santa the night before Christmas. With snow on the ground and frost in the air, they flew through the night and soon they were there. We're here! We're here! Adam said with a cheer, but was met by sad faces on the elves and reindeer. Adam, they said, we have terrible news. Rudolph is sick and Santa's the blues. There's no Christmas magic to light Rudolph's nose and he can't fly the sleigh unless it brightly glows. Don't worry, said Adam. I'll make you all proud. I'll find you some magic with Fluffy my cloud. The elves got to work loading up Santa's sleigh while Adam flew off to save Christmas Day. Let's fly to the snowman, said Adam to Fluff. He knows lots of magical Christmassy stuff. Snowman, said Adam, we have terrible news. Rudolph is sick and Santa's the blues. Oh no, said the snowman. This news is just tragic. We can't have a Christmas without Christmas magic. Snowman hugged Adam, then hopped on to Fluff and gave him some magic, but it was not enough. I know, said the snowman, who will give us some more. The Christmas tree angel has magic galore. Look, Adam shouted, I think I can see a love angel on top of that big Christmas tree. Oh, beautiful angel, can you help us, please, and give us the magic of Christmassy trees? We need it to light up poor Rudolph's red nose, because he can't fly the sleigh unless it brightly glows. Adam, she said, I think I could, I think I just could give you some magic, because you are so good. She gave him some love, but twas still not enough. So to help Snowman and Adam, she jumped onto Fluff. As the magic of Christmas was starting to grow, they flew to Red Robin down on the snow. We heard that when baby Jesus was born, the fire made your red breast when you kept him warm. Red Robin, said Adam, Santa's sleigh will not go without the magic we need to make Rudolph's nose glow. Oh no, 
said the robin. We cannot have this. Then gave Adam a magical Christmassy kiss. With time running out, robin flew onto Fluff, who flew them away with a huff and a puff. Fluff flew to the manger as fast as he could the, to Edgar, the donkey who was both kind and good. Edgar said, Adam, we need your help fast. Without it, this Christmas just might be our last. Oh no, Edgar said, who was in some distress. I've no Christmas magic, just love and kindness. Adam the angel red robin and snowman said, don't worry, Edgar, we're sure that we can use kindness and love to fill Santa's sleigh with the magic we need to save Christmas Day. With Edgar on board, Adam said with a shout, we must get to Santa before time runs out. With the magic they needed to save Christmas Day, Fluff flew as fast as he could all the way to the sleigh over the rooftops. Late on Christmas Eve, they all crossed their fingers, then could not believe. When they saw in the distance the elves and reindeer dancing and singing. La, 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 la. It's Adam! He's here! With when Fluff landed Adam down onto the snow, he was surrounded by a magical Christmassy glow. Adam said, Santa, we've no time to lose. Did you get any Christmassy magic to use to make Rudolph's nose shine Christmassy bright so we can deliver the presents tonight? Yes, replied Adam. But what do I do to get all of the magic from me into you? Adam, said Santa, that bit is so easy. Just give poor old Rudolph a hug and a squeezy. When Adam hugged Rudolph, the elves cheered, hooray! And jingle went all of the bells on the sleigh. I cannot believe it. I have my glow back, said Rudolph, as Santa grabbed his Christmas toy sack. The elves all lined up for the takeoff parade as a final check of the list was being made. Ho ho! shouted Santa. We have so much to do. And with the magic of Christmas away, the sleigh flew. Never before on a Christmas Eve night had Rudolph's red nose ever glowed quite so bright. As Santa flew off with the toys on the sled, he used magic to put Fluff and Adam to bed. And later as Adam slept soundly that night, Santa brought him a truly magnificent kite. He leaned over Adam and kissed his tired head. And whispering softly, he magically said, you're such a good boy, you saved all of Christmas with magical kindness and love, hugs and kisses. And with that, the Santa Claus sleigh flew away and that is how Adam saved Christmas Day. It's time to sleep, my bundle of joy. I love you much more than a Christmas Day toy, even much more than a Christmas Eve night. Sweet dreams, my love, I'll kiss you good night. The end. I hope you enjoyed that lovely Christmas story called Adam Saves Christmas by award winning author Benji Bennett. And I hope you enjoyed that lovely story. It was actually quite nice. I thought it was very nice. So I hope you enjoyed my Santa boy accent. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for day 256 of you. I mean, 266 of Reese's stories. Bye, everybody. Ho, ho. Oh!